Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also do fun little videos here on YouTube. Well, here we go again with another beginner guide walkthrough for Core Keeper as we venture in to our world. All right, let's look on our beginner world YouTube. Now, last we left off, we were working towards getting some, uh, some past our copper and getting to our tin. Um, so let's go ahead and choose pickles and get in there. Um, and just as we logged off, we were just outside the tin biome. All right, so let's go back to our base. Um, it's a little far walk, but you know what? Let's go ahead and put down our torches like I said we were going to do the first time. For some odd reason, I keep forgetting to leave my torches down. You know, I'm so used to having my lantern and stuff that nowadays it's one of those things where I just don't even bother doing it. But uh, for the sake of the video, I'll try to remember if I can. Some cool new things are coming to Core Keeper as well. So if you're just watching this video and you're just getting into Core Keeper, well, that's one thing. But if you're watching this video and you've been, you know, playing Core Keeper for a little while, um, well, there's some really cool stuff coming to Core Keeper soon. So definitely stay tuned for some awesome, awesome things. All right, so let's walk through here, not attacking any of those slimes. I just want to get home. Ooh, look at those biomes over there to the left. Now, in each of the biomes, you do find some really cool stuff. Now, there is something that you may or may not find in the dirt biome, um, and that is called a giant mushroom. If you do find one of those, definitely keep it. Uh, we'll save that for a later part in the um, in the video, but of course, um, it is a very cool item to get. So, um, my character is very hungry, so we got to make sure that we eat some food. So we got a lot of, we got a lot of mushrooms. Uh, let's go ahead and dump all of our food in here. Of course, we can press R to auto sort, so we can have all the food auto sorted in here as well. Uh, we got some more jelly. Let's eat some of this stuff just to make sure that our character is not starving. Um, and let's go ahead and start smelting some stuff so we can smelt that. We cannot smelt our gold, okay? So our gold cannot be smelted. If we put in the smelter, nothing will happen. That's because we need a different smelter for something later on. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep some of our stuff here. We got our clay wall. We have a ton of dirt walls, which... Truthfully, we don't, really, we don't really need to keep any dirt walls on us. I like to leave, like, usually half stacks of stuff just in case, you know, I can't get my, my owners back for some odd reason. So just something always nice to, to leave behind. Now, I did find what is called um, a Caitlin bread, which is just for eating. So all that it literally is is just for eating. So if you do find it and you are hungry, feel free to eat it. It's not a bad thing if you do. Um, so just something to keep in mind. We did find tin, of course, and tin, yes, we can go ahead and shove it in here and it will it will start smelting. Okay. So we've also found this item and we should go ahead and repair a few of these. One, two, there we go. And I just got word that the repair system will be changing soon too. So just something to kind of keep in mind. Let's keep our momentum on farming. Um, I don't really want to lose traction on that just because I know that I always talk about how good farming can get. Well, it's even better for obviously, you know, the more we farm, the more um, our skill tree goes up. So just de definitely something that you want to keep um, actively doing. So, okay, so let's go ahead and start planting some more stuff. And as you farm, as I said before, you will find more and more and more seeds will start to, you know, up here so you just want to make sure that you're on top of that so that way you're always getting uh all the seeds that you can um and that way you'll just keep replenishing more and more food but as time goes on i mean we're pretty much going to find food along the way too so that's just something to think about um uh, that you're not necessarily always going to be low on food because you know even if you forget to grow it in your farms you'll still most likely uh be able to there we go let's go plant these be able to actually just find food naturally so that's usually what i do but that being said it's always nice to like i said get used to farming because you can get uh your skill tree up and you can make sure that you get your just get used to farming in general um i'm out of water sorry yeah like when i first started playing core keeper i really didn't dabble that much in farming um and I probably should have just for the sake of, you know, getting used to it and stuff. But it is nice. I, I really like comparing this to, say, um, Stardew Valley. I mean, you honestly, you mine so, f sorry, you you uh, water so quickly that it makes it just so much easier just to get used to doing that. So I just, I actually don't mind it, honestly. Uh, all right, so let's make a bomb pepper little thing. Like, get those there ready to go so we're making our little recipes um i don't necessarily need all the copper but why not like you know might as well take it if we can get it okay so now i am ready to go i got three copper pickaxes which mm, 
that might not be enough. Uh, so I, I'm actually gonna make sure that obviously I have what I have on me. I have my copper and I have my wood. So if I had, need to make another copper pickaxe on the, gro on the go, I can totally do that. Put down our torches and let's set on. We're getting our tin. And we're gonna need a lot of tin. And when I say a lot of tin, I mean a lot of tin. And there's gonna be a specific reason for this. Uh, so come soon, you'll be able to see exactly why I'm kind of going for having a lot of tin in the world. Um, so, you know, as I'm mining and as I'm doing some stuff, I'll explain to, as to why tin is so important. And of course, I mean, really any resource is, is important in Core Keeper. So it's not necessary that like, you know, forget about copper just because now we've, we've uh, started using tin, but essentially, that sort of is the case that I'm my main focus now is going to be just looking for tin. Um, and as I said before in my previous video, it is a little bit troubling to try to find tin because, you know, you have to obviously go through a harder, um, harder biome in order to find it. Uh, so here we go. We just got a new mining thing. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't know if this is going to be tin. Yes, it is. Look at that. Okay, we found tin. Okay, so there we go. We got some tin. So... Tin is extremely useful because we are going to be making something for a boss and I won't spoil it just yet because I want you to kind of just get used to just, you know, naturally mining and finding stuff and uh, focusing on what tin could offer and we got to make that tin workbench first. Once we unlock the tin workbench, we'll be able to obviously, yes, make tin uh, pickaxe and a bunch of different new little things that obviously we couldn't make before uh, but as of right now we just got to focus on just mining and this is where i would say this is where i would say that it kind of gets a little bit to the point where we're going to be mining a lot uh whereas before when you're going through the dirt biome um once again yes you could just you know kind of wander around a little bit and find different new things but now my main focus is going to be looking for tin um and kind of you know, if we go along the ways and we do find our little areas that have any sort of, um, any sort of hidden things like, you know, tr uh, treasure chests or chests along the way, I would definitely go for those too. Um, but at the same time, I'm, I'm mainly just looking for tin. I really want to make that tin workbench because as soon as I do that, I can get, um, a few items that I want to start, uh, start getting. And you guys, I can see tin right there. I don't know if it's, let's see if I go ahead and put this down. Yeah, okay, so it's right along the edge. So this is why I said before that it's really good to go um, and get yourself a, a few copper pickaxes because, of course, we're going to need it. And I believe that was, yeah, that was copper. That wasn't even tin. So you can see how the difference from finding um, from finding tin is compared to copper already just by, just by how slowly we're finding tin. And then again, we are also not really like in the very core center of uh, this biome. Um, and we could go back and smelt the other tin because I have two here and I think I had six smelting. Uh, or sorry, I had have six total because I had four smelting. So we could go make a, a tin pickaxe if we really wanted. But I don't mind using um, I don't mind using a copper pickaxe right now. It's not a huge problem. And honestly, like we're gonna have a lot of copper left over as it is. So might as well just keep using it. So, but that's entirely up to you at the same time too, right? So if you if you feel like you don't want to waste time and you want to go back and and try making that tin work. A workbench you can feel free to do so but usually with new resources i tend to wait till i have around 20 to 30 of, of said resources that way i'm not wasting my time com like coming back into the biome unless i absolutely need to um and you know it, it really just depends on on your play style and whatnot too but for the sake of the video i like to take it one step at a time and not not kind of jump too heavy into something um until i'm completely ready okay so let's keep going Across here, and I like to over prepare um, as well for boss fights. Um, the first few times that I fought the bosses in Core Keeper, uh, I obviously you know didn't do too well. Uh, but as time went on, you know the more you do it, the more you get ready. Ooh, new an Oracle card. I, actually, that's the first time I've ever seen that. That's just a rare item, so it's nothing too crazy. But it obviously is valuable, so you can use that uh, down the road when we are able to sell some stuff. So pretty cool, definitely. Uh, awesome to see stuff like that. We got some more gold here. Anytime you see gold, try to make sure that you do go for it. Um, I know sometimes people kind of look at gold and go, eh, it's not a huge deal. Do I really need it? But yes, gold is very, very useful. And I feel like sooner or later, gold is going to honestly get, um, 
gold is going to get a lot more uses than we might think. So I do think if you do find gold, you should really go ahead and try uh, grabbing it. I know in our my world where that I've been working on for a very long time now, we've been using our gold like a ton. Um, and it's kind of one of those resources that it's not so easy to find so when you do find it you really should grab it because it's not like there's like a gold biome you find gold pretty much anywhere so uh, you got to make sure that you kind of get it when you can i'll still obviously go for my wood here and not forget about doing that and then once again still going for my my tin because we obviously need it so anytime we see a little bit of sparkles you want to make sure that you Get ready for that. Now, if you by any chance are ready to upgrade your uh, your mining, you can obviously look at the next tier list and say, okay, what do I get here? It's 5% chance to gain an additional ore from walls or two, plus two tile visibility uh, for ore distance. So, I mean, it really just depends on what you like to do. Um, this route, I normally always go with 5% uh, chance to gain an additional ore from walls. I'm actually going to do tile visibility. I want to I want to step it up a little bit and try something different. And that way I, I can increase my mining speed at the same time too. So when I go here, I'm actually going to go here and then I'm going to go down to chance to drop a valuable item from um, any mined wall. So I'm going to go a little bit of a different path this time than I normally do, uh, just to kind of sh uh, switch things up a little bit. So if you did get there, uh, you could always um, you can always decide which way you want to go and, and do it a little bit different. Uh, but of course, if you're following along, that's the route that I'm going to take. And look at what we found. Heck yeah, let's go. Just as I talked about it, we found the giant mushroom. Okay, now let's go see what the giant mushroom is. I gotta get there real quick. Now this is a extreme rare drop um, in the world of Core Keeper. If you do find it, make sure that you grab it right away. Now, of course, if you're in a world with other people, well, they might fight you for it. But that being said, if you do find it, boom, giant mushroom. This is a very rare item uh, and I will show you exactly why. And when you go to it, it says, Plus 15 food, 25 permanent max HP. Yes, that's right. Your HP will be maxed out at 25. Now, it can be cooked to actually combine in a recipe. You can combine it with other foods to make other things um, and different resources and stuff like that. But overall, honestly, like I've kind of looked through the recipes. They are cool to make, but I'm going to go ahead and eat it. I want to max out my HP as much as I can. Now, that is not the only one that can be found. There are other, there is another item that can max out your HP too, but we won't talk about that just yet. I won't let you worry about that until the time has come that we actually uh, find it, just to make it more enticing. It's it's pretty cool that we actually did find it though, because, you know, I was just talking about how it is something that I definitely look for. So unfortunately, we only have 16 uh, 10 total so far and we are gonna need a lot of it um, I feel like we're gonna probably have to go and get ourselves a tin pickaxe as fast as we can in order to mine these walls a lot quicker uh, but I'm not really looking to do that just yet I'm just I mean we are pretty far away from the base too so uh, I want to try to see if I can encounter the creatures that attack us uh, so that way I can show you exactly what they do and exactly how to avoid getting hit by them um, but been hard to actually locate anything that's going to try attacking us here so i am trying to find it i it's funny that i'm actually trying to find enemies uh, because normally you want to try to avoid enemies but in this case i'm actually trying to find them and look at that inside the wall we found nothing other than a gemstone so you will find gemstones periodically inside of walls uh, so if you do locate them uh, you're kind of you know uh, in for a treat because it's an easy way of getting them and yeah so and then we got some more we got some more tin. Okay. This little area that I'm standing in right now, do not stand there. I will tell you why, or I can show you why, one of the two. Um, probably soon enough, you might see something happen or run across. So just something to be careful of, because that's actually part of a boss area. So uh, just something to keep in mind. I don't want to spoil it yet. So obviously, I just want you to see it for yourself if you are following along. Um, just be very careful. I wouldn't stay along that path. Um, not anything that's going to kill you right away, but definitely something that could and will kill you if it does get close to you. So just be very, very cautious with that. We got really lucky and it looks like we found a lot of tin, um, inside of the little sand area. So that's always lucky to find. 
Now, one thing I don't really use that much is my mini map. I'm so used to always opening up my giant map just because sometimes I get a little lost, but um, sooner or later, I'll probably start utilizing my mini map a little bit more uh, just to kind of get used to it. Uh, so if you ever see me open up my, my big map, it's not because I don't know which way I'm going. It's just because I like my bigger map more. Uh, one thing that I do hope that I start to see um, the creators of Core Keeper add in the game um, is if you were to basically like highlight or right click or or whatnot, you can ping the map using middle mouse button. Uh, but past that, those pings will eventually dissipate and go away. I would really, really like to see uh, markers being added into the map so you can actually mark stuff and say, hey, look, I found a lot of ore here or uh, there was a um, there was a ore deposit here or you know, there was a boss over here or something like that. That way you're able to actually mark it off on your map and you don't have to necessarily worry about it disappearing. Um, I use pings every now and then, but unfortunately you can't use pings on the mini map. Not that you would anyways, you would probably only want to use it on the large map. Um, so I, ho I do hope that one day we do end up seeing that. None of my skills got upgraded yet, but my running is almost at the point of needing to be upgraded. We're at 20, 10 ore, and I still have a few left at the, ha uh, at the base. Um, so let's try to get a little bit more. I did set my sights for 20 to 30 tin. So we are almost there and tin does smelt very fast, just like copper. Um, so it's not necessary for us to, you know, worry about spending a ton of time at the base. But what I like to do is just make sure the next time we come out this way that we definitely have a lot more resources on us. Okay, so let's get back home. And I'm going to, this is one of the reasons why, um, I really want to kill one of the bosses because running all the way home can get very tedious and if you can imagine this is only a stepping stone for where we're going to end up um, and so sooner or later we're going to want an item uh, that is really really good um, and that is obtainable by uh, destroying one of the bosses so just something to keep in mind go ahead and eat one of these so that way we get our, our uh, food level up and let's head on back home now I'm trying to keep these videos kind of, not necessarily short and sweet, but I'm definitely trying to keep them a little bit limited. So that way, if you are watching uh, and playing along, it's not too, too hard for you to follow along with. Um, and also at the same time too, um, you know, it doesn't take up too much of your time if you decide to watch it. Because I always find that when it comes to beginner guides, um, I've done it quite a few specifically for like Don't Starve Together and whatnot. And it's always nice to kind of give you a little bit of time to kind of catch up on the video. Um, and that way you don't feel very rushed when you go through it. So if at any point in time you have any questions along the way, feel free to ask in the comments. Um, I'm more than um, happy enough to respond as fast as I can to any questions that you might have. So, all right, we are back home and we have a lot of wood that's already starting to grow. So that's really good. Our farm's looking good. All of our stuff is already smelted. Now, I tend to keep a lot of my... I tend to keep a lot of my ores on my hotbar, like I said before, because I don't really want to lose it. Uh, so just something to keep in mind. That's the reason why I'm doing it. Okay, so let's go ahead and organize. I have a lot of... I have a lot of copper, so I don't necessarily need to keep that much on there. Uh, let's go ahead and repair. Boom, boom, boom. And once again, we can go and dump off a lot of our valuables. As time goes on, we're eventually going to run out of storage space in this chest, so we're going to need to make another one. And we can drop off our food that we've obtained as well. We got some root seeds, got some other stuff. And of course, you can like sort here if you'd like. And we put our stuff down here. We got our little workbench, our torches, our wood bridge, and even this can stay here too. And then as I come back to the base every time, I always like to just once again, dump off a lot of resources that I find. That way we always have a ton if for some odd reason I didn't uh, survive out there and I didn't want to come back here. Um, or sorry, I didn't want to go back and find my stuff. And I'm gonna. Sh there's going to be some occasions where that's going to be the case. Uh, so when you do die, your tombstone does fall um, and you are able to go back and get it. But sometimes you might say to yourself, well, honestly, I don't even care about it. I'm just going to leave my stuff there. It would be a pretty rare occasion for that to happen, uh, but it's definitely not necessary, something that is unheard of. So, um, you know, just something to consider that uh, if you do have a lot of resources, splitting them up, it's not a... Not a bad option. Okay, we'll we'll keep making more stuff, and as time goes on, honestly, we're gonna get to the point where we have a lot of, uh, we're gonna have like a ton of food, as I said before. So, don't be discouraged if right now you don't have a lot and you're wondering where it's at, or 
uh, things like that because over time you're gonna have more than you can ask for so just remember that um, and as you're I keep on reminding you that as your farming levels go up um, you'll get more and more seed return just like you would in any other game um, as your as your farming skills increase okay keep this farming area going we're doing pretty well with just this little patch that we have here let's eat some of that and I think we are almost ready now that we've done all that to smelt this stuff and I can make my do 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 tin workbench okay so one thing that you're gonna see when you go to hover over your tin workbench is it's telling you that there's a little indicator for a chest what that means is around us there is wood and copper found in a chest so if we obviously open up this you can see that wood and copper is located in this chest so that's what that little indicator is telling you another thing I would recommend is a bed can be painted a place to sleep also allows friendly blah blah blah, blah. so basically it is a place for you to, to stay I would suggest just make one because they look cool why not right um, and it sets that as a as a spawn point. Okay, so now we can make ourselves a tin workbench. So let's put this over next to our repair station. And now we've unlocked a whole bunch of new things that you'll just have to wait for the next video in order for us to talk about them. All right, I will see you in the next video. I hope you had a fun time enjoying uh, this one. And do, feel free to always uh, comment down below if you have any questions. Make sure you leave a like, and I will see you in the next video.